Hey guys, thank you for the video for guys. In today's video, I want to show you how to fix the App Store app not working on your iPhone. Now, there's multiple reasons why it may not be working, whether the app isn't opening, it's crashing, or you're not able to download any apps from the App Store. We're going to walk you through the troubleshooting steps that it requires to fix that issue. So let's get started. So the very first thing I usually like to do is see if I can close out the app by sliding it up and then just simply close out all the apps if you have open here just a good practice and then relaunching it again. It could be as simple fix as that. Now the other thing you want to check is your phone has internet connection, whether Wi-Fi or cellular data. In order to uh, do a quick network refresh, you're going to pull down the control menu here, put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it back off and then open up a browser here and then you're going to go to a website just to test out that you can get to the internet because you'll need internet connection in order to download any apps. Now after you have done that, the next thing you want to check out on your browser here while you're at it is you're going to want to search for Apple system status. You can Google this. It'll take you to the Apple's website and then you can check out all the services Apple provides. But the very first one under App Store, you want to ensure that it says available. And the reason why that is if it's uh, not available, it'll say unavailable, which means they're having issues. And in the case that it does say unavailable or some issues, you'll have to wait till Apple resolves the issue. Generally, Apple will resolve most of the issue within minutes to maybe hours. So you just have to wait it out. But you want to ensure that it's available so that you can download and install any apps on the App Store. Now, after that, the next troubleshooting step you want to follow is doing a force restart on your iPhone. In order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold the side button here until the screen goes completely black. And at that time, it let go of that button. So in real time, volume up or volume down. And then I hold the side button here just like that. I'm going to wait till the screen goes completely black. And at that time, I will let go of that side button. So as you can see here, it's shutting down completely. And then I will wait till I see the Apple logo. At that time, I'll let go of that button. And I have done is a force restart. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be there. All it's doing is shutting down the phone and reloading the code. So if it's a software-related issue impacting the App Store from not working, it will resolve that issue and once you're back in swipe up and hopefully you can open up app store and go ahead and do whatever you need to in a case that you're having issues with your apple uh, account here when you open it up you want to ensure that you're signed into your apple id if you're not already signed in other thing i usually like to do is if i'm already signed in and i'm having issues is go ahead and sign out and sign back in so if you, there's an option to sign back you're going to want to sign in and then sign back out, ensuring that it works. Along with that, you also want to go to your Apple ID, make sure your Apple ID is signed in. If it is signed in, go ahead and all the way down here, sign out and then sign back in. Again, that helps with the troubleshooting because Apple ID is required in order to download and install any app. Now, if you're getting any other sort of Apple ID related issue, which we discuss in another video, we'll leave the link in the description section or the comment section check those video out for the different issues that may be impacting you from downloading apps specifically because it's related to your app id now the next thing you want to do in terms of troubleshooting your app store if you're having any other issues is going to your settings go to general and then all the way down here it says transfer reset iphone you're going to click on the first option to reset and reset all settings now this will take about 20 to 30 seconds, but before you do that, what does this do? This essentially resets all settings like network related settings. If you had connected to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth devices, it will get reset. So you have to reconnect again. Any keyboard dictionary, any custom home screen layout, and any location privacy settings as well. Only the settings itself. It will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, anything like that. And something necessary when it comes to troubleshooting the app store not working correctly now if you're still having the issue the next thing you want to go ahead and try to fix uh, into to, to fix this is go into your settings go to general look to see if there's a software update available and if it is update available is out there it'll say download and install you want to ensure your phone is up to date so that again if there is any problem with the previous version of the software 
possibly impacting the app store it will resolve it now when you do any sort of software update i recommend you have at least half an hour to 45 minutes to do the update also make sure you have a good strong wi-fi or cellular data and your phone is at least 50 percent or more to be able to successfully install that update and once you update your phone hopefully now your app store is working and everything is good to go and i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys and next time